Hello and welcome to today's training. This is the day three of this web design course. So um, yesterday we were able to look at content management system and I explained that and gave you some examples of content management system. And of course, we settled with the WordPress and I was able to show you how you can how you can design a website offline using WordPress. So at the end of yesterday's uh, training, I gave an assignment and I believe that you, you have done that assignment. I received so many questions, people are seeking for guide in my DM. So I believe that most of you have done the assignment. So one thing that is very important in this kind, kind, of, kind of trainings is that you have to learn and practice. Of course, if you, are, if you are not practicing, it will not make any impact because you will not uh, be able to use the skill. So the essence is for you to learn and use this skill and be able to earn money from it. Okay, So practicing it is very, very important. And it is very good that I agree, I, we, we have even made provision for support to put you through. The people who came to my DM, they can testify that I've been able to... Uh, give them a, a proper guide. I've given time to that, so don't uh, hesitate to send a DM if you have any question. At least throughout these two weeks that we'll be having this training, I'll be responding to your questions because I've devoted the time to do that. So do well to practice everything we are doing now and then uh, come to my DM if you have any issue. Okay. So today we are going to be looking at online WordPress. Okay, so I'll be showing you how you can design your website on the internet. So, like I said in my in the introductory session, the day one of this course, if you want to have a website, you need a domain name, you need uh, a hosting plan. So, now that we are using the internet, you know, your website is going to be situated somewhere. And then you are going to have an address that will lead people to that hosting plan so that they can access your website files. All right, so the first thing we are going to do is to register a domain name and pay for web hosting. Okay, so uh, it's not going to be free. If you have uh, a little money with you, you can follow this tutorial to the end and get a domain name. And what our, our advice is that. You would rather use a domain name that you are going to to use after this class okay so if you have a business or if you want to develop a portfolio website for yourself just use this opportunity to register to buy the domain name to buy the hosting so that you can use it even after this class okay so we are doing this because some of the things we'll be doing in the subsequent classes you will be needing a paid domain name and a paid hosting plan, okay? So you can go ahead and follow me and buy this domain name and hosting. It's not very expensive. You can get it and it will help you in the days to come, okay? So there are many hosting companies that offer this service, okay? You have many of them like Bluehost, you have uh, Namecheap, you have Hammerweb, you have QServers, you have GoDaddy, you have a lot of them. Hmm? And then you have InterServer. I like using InterServer because of um, three major reasons. They have unlimited uh, web space. So if you are using InterServer, they, they give you unlimited. So some, some hosting companies, they give you, depending on the package you go for, they give you 20 gigs, give you 10 gigs, give you 40 gigs space to host your dig space to host your website there. But for InterServer, it is unlimited. So uh, another thing they have that is uh, really awesome is that they have provision for unlimited websites. Okay. So this is another thing you need to know. It is possible for you to secure just one hosting plan and then have many websites hosted on that plan. Okay. So you buy only one hosting plan, but you you bring in other websites that can be resident in that hosting plan. Okay, that is called shared hosting. Okay, so InterServer gives you the opportunity to host as many websites as you can in that one hosting plan. Okay, and then the third reason is that their support team is very active, very, very active. So 
If you have an issue with anything and you want clarification, you want them to do anything for you on, as regard your hosting or with domain that you bought with them, you just need to chat with them, a live chat on their website, you chat them and in a minute they get that done. So I like that very well. I've been using other hosting companies, but most of the challenges uh, we have is when you want to reach the support team, it becomes uh, difficult. But InterServer does that very well and it's good. So that is why I like using it. And then it loads fast, loads fast as well. So uh, there's one thing. You can decide to have a hosting plan uh, from one company and then a domain name from another company. So all you need to do is just to link the, the two, link your domain name with the hosting plan with just uh, directing the name servers, okay? So you just link it like that and they, they work together. So but uh, in this tutorial, we are going to secure the two of these from one hosting company. So InterServer is going to give us the domain name and it's going to give us the hosting plan, okay? So now let's go into this. So for you to access um, InterServer, you just need to type interserver.net. You'll get to their website. Or you can click on the link in the description here. If you click on this link, they are going to give you a little, a little discount, okay? So now go ahead and click on the link in the description. Then you'll get to this page where you have... Um, uh, buy now. You can see buy now. You can see the, the price they are giving you for a hosting plan $2.5 per month. So this is Inter Server. So they are giving 65% off. Um, so we click on buy now. I'm going to click on buy now. Click on buy now and wait for it to load. So when you click on buy now, it's going to take you to this place. So if you if you already have a domain name, if you already have a domain name and you just want to pay for a hosting plan, you will click on I already have a domain name. But in this case, we are trying to, to buy a, a, to register a new domain name. So you are going to click on register a new domain name. So when you click on register a new domain name, you are now going to put in the, the domain name that you want. So if you are putting in a domain name, make sure it is something that is not too long. Don't use names that are hard to, to pronounce. So when you do when you do that, people will easily remember when they are referring people to your website or when they are trying to remember the, the domain name so that they will log in, they will, they will visit your site. It is easier for them. So you get more, more traffic when you use a shorter name and a name that people will remember easily so now i'm simply going to use my name i'm going to use my name as a uh, domain name you can use your business name you can use your your company name depending on what you want to to do on that side so in my own case i'm using my site as a personal development site so i'll jump i'll just use my name so best thing best thing keto at okay best in keto.com sorry so bestinketo.com. So now click on continue. When you click on continue, and the domain name is the one that uh, someone else is not using. That is, if it is free, you now see this. So now they are saying first year domain registration for 7.9 is okay. So now click on yes. And I'll click on continue. So now I'm going to create an account with this uh, with InterServer. So put in your in my email address. I'll put in my email address here. Website mastery course at jimmy.com. I'll put it there. Then my password. Agree with the terms. Of course, you can click and read it. Then I agree. I'm not a robot. Click on I'm not a robot. Use to verify that you are not a robot. So both. Well, this is one. 
another route, another one. So verify. All right. So click on create, create account and continue. So now web hosting direct admin login as this is my email. Continue. So I'm now going to put in my, my details. My name is Besto. Besto Crypto. Company Ciprox Tech. Ciprox Tech. Address. Anyway, so my zip code, uh, I forgot my zip code. Let me search for it quickly. Recording zip code. Let me search for my zip code for quickly. So I'm just using nine, this, this is my zip code here. Nine, seven, one, zero, one. So come back. And I'll paste it here. Nigeria phone number. So continue. So as you can see, web hosting direct admin. This is the domain bestinkyoto.com. Uh, uh, web hosting direct admin, domain registration, privacy. Uh, first month discount price, I like, give me a discount. Uh, then the total is $17, $17. So, but I'm not going to, I, I don't want to buy it for just one month. I want to buy it for a whole year. So that is 12 months. So you see 12 months here. If you select 12 months, this has increased to $27. So uh, currency, all right. So this privacy now is what I don't actually need. So I'm going to click on no. So you see, you say without uh, voice privacy, anyone can look up your contact information. This often results in market in making phone calls and emails. If you still choose not to purchase voice privacy, uh, consider not using your cell phone or phone. Um, so this thing, I don't really have an issue with this. People calling me or sending me emails, I don't have an issue with that. But if you if you don't want that, you can just click on yes, and then they will charge you five dollars per year. All right. So look at our B here. This domain name and hosting, you are paying thirty five point uh, five dollars only. So now I'm going to click on, I'm going to put in my payment method. My payment method, I'm using ATM card. So I will click on debit card and then put in my card details there. So I finished putting my card details. So they're asking you, Will automatically charge card. If you put it on, anytime your subscription finishes, expires, they will they will renew it. So I don't want that. So I'm going to put it off. So accept accept uh, terms, and then click on place order. Wait for it to load. It's still processing. Processing web hosting activation. Redirecting. So do you want to save card? No. I want to save my save on card details. All right, website order. Thank you for your web hosting or your credit card on file has been successfully charged. 
your website is being configured now. Please check your email box for the activation email, which will include account login, FTT, FTP, and DNS details. These are details that will help you in uploading your, your, your website. So then click on continue. So as you can see, our payment is successful. So just click on continue. So the details will be sent to my email address. All right, so if I come back to my email address now, come back to my email, To inbox. See a series, series of email emails interceptor sent to me. Uh, the created accounts, new account set up, welcome in welcome. We're able to host new web hosting credit card payment accepted. Domain name besting for crypto besting crypto registered. Uh, let's open this first. So domain activation. They are just to get to your domain has been registered. To point your domain to an IP or manage more advanced domain uh, functions, log into your 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 interseller account. Go to DNS Manager. Your hosting plan will automatically renew on 2023. February 14th by 10 45. So these are the details for the amount of $12. That is the hosting plan. And you will continue to renew every 12 months. Hour of work. So so this is it is a confirmation that actually we have bought that domain name and the hosting plan. All right, so verification required. Please verify your domain as soon as possible. All right, so when you open this email, uh, come down, come down here, come down here. So you see, in order to ensure your domain name remain active, you must now click the following link to, and follow the instruction provided. So click on this link. This is to verify your, your domain name. This is to verify your domain name. Please verify your contact information. The domain name below will be suspended if this verification is not completed. Recently, you will have posting credible contact information for domain name. Blah, 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 email is. So, verify information. Contact information verified. Thank you. The following contact has been. Verify. So now I'm going into the process of installing WordPress on your website. All right. So you now need to open your email. So I will come to my email. Come to my email, and then you will see the email that the mail that was sent to you from your web hosting company. In this case. Uh, look at the email here, which is sent from InterServer. So you now click on this, this new website, uh, at, uh, new website activated. Click on this. So when you click on this, we're not going to see your login details. But before this, in trying to log into my cPanel, where I'll be installing the WordPress, I will first go to my hosting company which is interserver.net, interserver.net. Interserver.net. Click on login. So the email address you used, it's time you bought your domain name and hosting plan. That's the email you are going to put here. 
So I'll put my email. So login, they have sent a code to my email. So let me open my email and get the code. I'll paste, paste it to another login. All right, so I've logged into my Intel server account now. As you can see, this is the domain name I got. This is the web hosting plan, which I also bought for one year. So now what we are going to do is this. We are going to log into our C panel. So quickly click on web hosting. So when you click on web hosting, as you can see, the status is showing active. So click on this setting icon. It will now take you to this dashboard. So when you come here, look at your login to direct admin. Direct admin, this is your C panel. We are going into your C panel now. So now you are going to use the login details they sent to your email to log into, into your into your C panel now. So go back to your email and click on the mail they sent to you. The one I, I showed you earlier. This new website activated. So when you click on this, then I'm going to copy your direct admin login uh, information here. Look at the username. So copy your username. Go back to your C panel login. Come back to your C panel login. Put your username. Go back to your email again. Copy your password. Copy your password. This is your password. So sign in. So if you want to save your, your details, you can go ahead and save. If you're, you're not using that system with anyone else, you can save your password there. So if you're using it with someone, it's not advisable to save your passwords on it like that. So now, this is your direct admin. This is your control panel. This is where all your files, all your settings, about your web, your web hosting are done. As you can see, your SSL certificate, this is what gives you, when you type in a domain name on the browser, some of the domain names, they will show you insecure because they will not have that S, HTTPS. They will not have that S. It's because the certificate is not activ activated. It's either they don't have the certificate or it is not activated. So, in, in most hosting plans, they give it for free. So, but there are some that you need to buy. Buy the, the SSL certificate and you install on your website and it becomes secure. So, as you can see here, this is an email manager. This is where you can, can create your custom email. But that's not what we are doing. But we, are, we want to install WordPress. Want to install WordPress? So come down. There you now see Softaculous app installer. So look at WordPress here. Now click on WordPress.
So but before we install this WordPress, let me let me visit my site. That is the new uh, domain name I've got. You will see the message that will display on the site. And then we will now, when we finish installing WordPress, you now see the change that, that will be there. So let me visit my website quickly, which is best in, best in crypto. So enter. So you now see, see what is appearing here now. This message is from hosting company, which is InterServer. So but as soon as I install WordPress, you see that this will this will change. So let's go back, go back to our C panel. Remember, we clicked on WordPress. That's what took us to this place. So now this is the overview. So quickly, we are going to click on install now. So now you are going to uh, put in some information here. So here, you just remove this directory, leave it empty. So this is version 5.9, leave it there. Then your domain name is there. So now you are going to put in your site name. This should be your business name, your company name. I'm going to leave it as at me. Then come to site description. So this site description is uh, a little text about your site. So you need to write a, a short description of what of the content of your website here. So what, what are you going to be doing on your, your website? If there's a company that is into digital marketing, you now caption uh, a, a line or two in line with digital marketing. If it's a company that produces a physical product, you, you, you talk about that, that, that product in a, in a summary form. Normally you put something that people will be searching for. So you can, you can be able to get some keywords from Google Trends. We're not going to go into that now. So but get keywords that people are searching for frequently on the internet regarding your field. So you now put, put it here. So for me, I'm going to put personal development uh, business coaching digital skills. This is not going to display on your website, but it's going to show on search engines. So now you're going to put in your password. A stronger password is required. So you can put password with your with special characters, unique numbers. So I now put my password here. So admin email, you can put, you can leave it at admin. So now, there are a number of things here. There are a number of things that I can insert, I can install into my, my WordPress right now. There are quite a lot of them, as you can see. Very beautiful things. So I can, I can easily click on any of them and install. But I don't want to install it now. We are going to install it later in our dashboard. Uh, of course, I'm going to do that in my next video. I'll show you how to install uh, a team and customize it. Install a team and some other plugins for your website. So as you can see, there are a lot of them here, but I'm going to install it now. All right, so go ahead and click on install. This install is for WordPress. We are not choosing any, any team. So go ahead and click on install. So congratulations, the software was installed successfully. So if you now want to log into your WordPress and start designing your website, now, this is the URL you are going to use. So click on this URL.
So now this is your WordPress dashboard. You have successfully installed WordPress and you have logged in to the, the dashboard now. So this is where you do all your editings. This is where you, you can import the whole website and edit in just minutes. You can make your posts here, you can add pages and all of that. So that is how to register a domain name and a hosting plan. So, so but I understand that I understand that some of you may not have the money uh, handy at the moment to buy this domain name and the hosting plan. But I needed to show you so that uh, you, you know how to do it. And then for those who have to who are able to to buy it, you will need to you are going to be using it. You are going to be using it in the in the subsequent classes, like I said. So, but if you are not able to buy this, tomorrow I'm going to show you how you can register, how you can get a domain name and a hosting plan for free. But note that this uh, free domain name and hosting is limited. There are some things you will not be able to do there, okay? So, but tomorrow, in our, in our tomorrow's class, I'm going to show you how you can register, get a free domain name and a free web hosting, okay? All right, thank you so much for being here for today's class. I'll see you tomorrow. All right.